Hey everyone, today I have a quick PC building tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to install a Ryzen 7 5800X onto a motherboard. The motherboard we're gonna be using today is the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi gaming motherboard. Should be pretty quick to do, and you'll have this installed in no time. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken. This is Northern Viking Every Day, and we're bringing videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into installing this Ryzen 7 5800X on my motherboard. So a couple quick things I do wanna mention, the CPU and the motherboard, I did pick them up from the store. I will put links below in the description if you do wanna grab them for yourself or find more information. Now the other thing is when you're handling the CPU, make sure that you're holding it by the edge, not by the face or the pins on the back. You don't wanna to touch the face or the pins on the back are very fragile, so don't touch those as well. We don't want those to bend, so be very careful. So where does the CPU go on the motherboard? On my Gigabyte Aorus X570, you'll see the AM4 socket for the CPU off to the right-hand side. When you take a closer look, you'll see all the little holes that the pins on the bottom of the CPU need to fit into. That's why it's important not to bend any of those pins. To prepare your motherboard for the CPU, you'll want to slightly pull the metal arm out and then lift it up, putting the AM4 socket in the correct position to accept your CPU. The next step, and a very important one, is to make sure you are installing your CPU in the correct orientation. There is a little arrow on the corner of the AM4 socket. This needs to line up with the arrow on the corner of your CPU, so always double check that you're putting it in in the correct direction. Go ahead and grab your CPU by the edge and very gently lower it over the AM4 socket. As best you can, align the pins with the holes on the underside. You may need to slightly move the CPU and it should drop into place without any force. Do not push it down. From here, you can gently lower the lever locking the CPU into place. And it's that simple to install a Ryzen 7 5800X on a Gigabyte X570 Aorus motherboard. So hope this video was able to help you get your Ryzen 7 5800X installed on your motherboard. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.